Ooh, counter attack. Oh, what a touch. Oh, come on. What a pass. Finish it. Yes. Go. What's going on guys? It is JJ here back with a new footballing video once again today uh, and today we're going to take a look once again at a player in Southeast Asia. We haven't done many specific player Southeast videos. Uh, we've done a couple on um, players in Malaysia, a couple on a couple players in Indonesia, obviously Sean Atip Songkrasen uh, and as well uh, I believe a couple more players in Thailand. We've done one on Vietnam on a guy in Kong Hai uh, and even Korea with Sun Hyung Min. Today we're going to take a look at what many people consider the the Cambodian Messi or, or the Southeastern Asian Messi, uh, Chan Batanaka. Now, obviously, uh, in Cambodia, he is an otherworldly figure, uh, and it's actually really, really, really good. Uh, I mean, just he's so, so good from essentially what he has to work with. Cambodia isn't really given a lot of what would be, you know, European talents or South American talents uh, are, are given in terms of, you know, facilities, in terms of, you know, accessibility, stuff like that. So to have a player of his skill, uh, you know, have this type of skill uh, is absolutely unbelievable. So we're gonna take a look at Chan Batanaka. You guys gotta let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. That's, is that Mohamedou Samari? That is, isn't it? That was, that was him, if I'm not mistaken. We did a video on him, by the way. You know, go, go check it out. So is this a more, well no, yeah, because it's 2019, so it's not a quarantine uh, game, there's just no fans, must be a friendly. Of course the referee getting in the way. Ooh, good skill to win it back. One more, one more pass, pass it off. Pass. Oh, that opportunity was there. It was there. For him to at least get a shot off. This is scrappy, you know. This is like a scrappy, scrappy game. Ooh, counter attack. Oh, what a touch. Oh, come on. What a pass. Finish it. Yes. Go. Did they say he's offside already? Oh, no, it did count. Okay. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I was like, there's no way you can take that away from him already. I think just the, the push on the counter attack. The big touch right here. Boom. Big touch. Immediately takes off with the sprint. I would have passed it right here, but I mean, right there is still also good. I, and that, I thought he was going to lose it after the one bad touch. The skill, the skill to continue, or I guess composure, to continue to put it away is, is, is good. Oh, that's the coach. I literally thought that was a player for a second. <laughs> I thought that was a play. What a way to literally kick off the counterattack straight from the goalie throw. The best way to do it. That ball was so risky, but it was it's such high reward when you actually get it right. And they they got it perfectly. Yeah, right there. And that like oh, it's like that little bounce. Honestly, I think the little bounce is what got it away from the defender as well. Boom. Oh, it is. It, the defender's foot was in the right place. It was just a little bounce. Oh, and the nutmeg! 
<laughs> Go on, son! That's, uh, I didn't see the nutmeg part. Magnificent. Oh, what a ball. Unlucky. Unlucky to finish. Another great ball. Good first touch, too. I like that as numbers 29. Ooh. Ooh. Almost, almost found his way through. He's got some wheels, you know. The distance that he got, I did not expect that from him. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I will be completely honest. Chip Adanaka's got some wheels. Touch. He took a big touch on purpose. Immediately sprinted off. The ball wasn't, well, I mean, it wasn't great, wasn't bad. It was okay. I think that's what I was looking for. Also not great. Not great. That is a great. Uh, he's very uh he's very unlucky to not get more out of that cuz he had the right idea. Like the tech that technique is so so difficult. To like actually be able to like put that in off balance it looked like as well. Yeah, it's super off balance as well. Unlucky, unlucky Autumn. Ooh, great ball. Uh, you, you're definitely offside. I mean, he is. Let's just go back to the. He's miles offside. I'm thinking it, if that was all the work in one half for an attacking, you know, left, white, or left or right winger, I love it. Are they going back to the goal? See, I would have passed it. I, I don't know why. My first thought would be to pass it right here. You, Because you'd want your striker to have the most open space, like to be able to, you know, see whether he's going to shoot right, whether he's going to shoot left, whether the keeper's going to come close or stay back in goal. I would have passed it right here. And this is why, you know, I, I, I'm not a professional footballer. is because he intelligently decided to keep on running. Oh, I mean, I, I can't say keep on running. He, he ran for what would be probably one or two more dribbles and then placed it perfectly at his feet with a lucky bounce. And then, boom, T Chan Batanaka tucked it right away. That's good. That's honestly, that's, that's really, really good skill. It's, it's a high football IQ is what it is. And they had the guy at the back post as well. So it's like... There's a bonus for everything here. Big second half. A little excited. I don't know what team this is. Those orange jerseys are beautiful. Counter-attack. Ooh, good defending, I guess. Oh, oh, that ball was the right idea. If that got more air, oh, I mean, it's a foul anyway, but if that got more air, that that's a beautiful through ball. That's Ozil-like vision to immediately know where to put that ball. Oh. I guess, okay, it's not Merck in the defender there, but it's close. I don't think he's outside. Uh, that's sloppy. That's, that was sloppy, but it worked. Sloppy in the end, but it worked. Oh, clipped 
just like it's so hard. Ah! Ah! That'd be so painful. That'd be so painful. Walk it off, my dude. You got this. You got this. Oh, wow. The dummy touch almost worked there. Yeah, that's the end of the game for him. Okay, well, you know what? I actually I had a really, really good time actually looking at Chen Vatanaka. Obviously, has a real... I mean... Very, very good shooter. Finds himself in good positions. He's got a little bit of speed to him. So I think that's probably very, very interesting. I think I need to take another look at him. Uh, uh, maybe in a more national team sense. Obviously, he is the guy for Cambodia at times. Uh, but I'm actually really, really excited to see what the future holds for him. I think he's around 25, 26 years old as well. So he's not too old. He's not yet hit his prime or he's not gone beyond it. So excited to continue to see him you know, progress further and further into his career. But thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, let me know. What other players, what other videos you guys want to see on the channel? Uh, and I will catch you guys at a later date. Peace.